Jason from Ovibe Studios and we're back with part five of our Let's Play series. So um, before we start, you will probably be able to play the beta uh, yourself very soonish. So um, it will be uh, an open beta this week. So you can all be looking forward to that. Now, where were we? Um, when we last left, left off, we were in a bit of a struggle for crowns. So um, I think we got just going to take up uh, this contract. It's a delivery and um, we just have some time then to let's have a quick look at our guys um, and then we just have time to heal up and, um, and maybe recover from some wounds repair some armor um, re regain some hit points like this guy Ludolf for example is completely beaten up and so on so uh, I think we have to go to the north right yes up there to Schachtheim and um, we quickly gonna move through all the cities, but uh, we have a an event. Uh, while approaching Taubenmoos, a local man waves you down. He stands he's standing beside the skeleton of what hap, hap, appears to be a mill. Exasperated, he explains that his laborers didn't show up today, and he needs to finish the mill before a local baron arrives. If he doesn't finish it, the baron might not ever give him another contract. You do have a, for, a former um, <clears throat> a few former laborers in the company. Perhaps they can be used of help to the man. Um, yes, I think um, we can help. I hope they don't injure themselves, but maybe we get a couple of crowns. Okay, um, we helped him and uh, finished the project in time. You get uh, we get a couple of crowns. Um, we have two guys uh, increasing their mood. That's for it's the builders, and one of our guys is exhausted. So um, let's have a quick look at Ernst. And this is him. So he's exhausted. He has um, a lot less fatigue for a couple of days, but that's not not too bad. I mean, 100 crowns right now is a lot of a lot of crowns for us. And um, oh, there are some goblin raiders, and they are fighting, as this icon suggests. It's just four of them now, but I don't want to um, to mess with those guys at the moment. Let's quickly have a look into Kalenberg. Maybe find another. Oh, there's a contract over here. And it's a one skull contract. That's interesting. So it's good to know. Um, maybe we can come back here later. Oh, the tools and supplies are really cheap. Mm, but I only have money for it. Let's get rid of some of the stuff. Like so. And let's grab one. Uh, we still have enough um, for two days. That's okay. And when I see tools and supplies, I'm... Uh, for under 200 crowns, <laughs> I'm not thinking about it twice. Okay, we've got one more day and um, three more days on food. That's okay. Let's head over here. Let's head over to Wolfenburg. So um, when we finished our delivery, I'm, I'm supposing that we will find a contract up there that we can take on. There's a, just a noble house contract over here. Can we sell something? Uh, we actually, we, I think we should keep most of this. I uh, don't bother about this much. Um, we should keep most of our stuff. Uh, for reserves. Okay, so our medicinal supplies are running out. It's no wonder with all the um, uh, with all the hit point losses that we have. Three days on food. Uh, one day on crowns. But we will be there before we have to pay the next... Um, just gonna speed it up a little bit. Have a quick look into Jarlstedt if there are any contracts available. Uh, there's one, but it's a two skull contract. I don't want to take that on. It's it just I don't feel comfortable with my beaten up crew, and it is still beaten up. S three injuries, and though no, it's this guy has two injuries, and uh, two guys with low hit points, and still repairing some stuff. No, no, no. There we go. Okay, we delivered our um, package. Gained some crowns. Oh, we have a, um, a contract here. Let's have a quick look. Okay, um, it looks like uh, there's a cemetery here that has been plundered. I think that sounds just like my kind of bag. So um, let's ask for more pay. Okay, 310 crowns. Shall we ask once more? No, oh, that's good pay. That's good pay. That's, I don't want to risk it right now. I think with the 300 crowns, we maybe if there's a cheap guy, no. 
Oh, look, this is awesome new hat for the jester, uh, for the juggler. And uh, we just added that, so there you go. And if he gets hit in the head, it makes like a really funny jingle sound. Uh, let's head out to the cemetery and see what we'll find there. How do my guys look? I so, so need to get rid of all these of all these negative effects. I hope that the fight over there is not too difficult so that I um, can regain a little bit. Oh, it's just over there. Now with the snow that can be quite handy because um, I think I have a, quite a good um, backline and it will slow down the enemies. It depends on which enemies there are. But let's have a look. Ah, okay, here it says it's, it's undead. Let's wait a second. Maybe I should switch out some weapons. I don't know, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay. The undead are afoot to arms, uh, guys. We're gonna kill those some armored Wiedergängers, many normal Wiedergängers. I think we can do if we uh, don't act too stupidly. Oh, it's 13 of them. Is there a high ground I can retreat to? No. I think I'm gonna exploit the um, uh, the spear wall a bit. Just gonna move him to the middle of my... Oh, my <laughs> those, gosh, look at that, so many of them. Uh, yeah, well, that doesn't look too good, does it? You guys stay in the front. Just gonna wait with the others. I want them to run into my guys with the with this with the spear so they can just kill themselves on the spear wall. And if I have three guys in a row with the spear wall, that's pretty decent. I really need need to work on my mood. When you see this guy, uh, Geralt, he's already um, wavering morale, and the other guys have no effects. These two have good have good morale. But overall, if the um, the mood is better, more more will start with a confident bonus, and then ca that can actually change a lot in combat. That gives a pretty massive bonus. I want to get rid of the guys with the spear first, because though the zombies have really low melee skill, and um, um, them being able to attack you with the spear is usually something that you want to avoid. Yeah, just take an aim shot. I think I can go one more turn without the um, without the spear wall. Here you go. Just move down here. Um, how far can they go? I don't want to risk it. I put up the spear wall. Not really sure. Keep this guy in the back. And the spear wall. And you wait. Maybe you can snipe this guy again. Well done, he's almost down. Now for a lucky b uh, bow... Uh, I uh, didn't need to put it up. The snow slows them down. So they can only move two tiles in the snow. Ah. Whatever, just gonna wait with you. So they get even closer. I really want to kill this Wiedergänger. Nothing to do over here. Another aim shot. Uh, close one. But Wanda has two injuries, so... Yeah, uh, he's really below his possibilities. Okay, shall I engage? I think yes. There are a lot of, lots of them. 13 is quite a number and they uh, will get back up, so... You can also, you can basically double that, that amount. Just gonna wait with you. And yeah, I think I'm gonna hold, still hold back. Yeah, hold back. Just uh, again uh, use some throwing spears. Nice one. First one is down, and it was one with a spear. That's awesome. Okay, now for the spear wall. I could have avoided that. Would have saved me actually a lot. To go for this guy, oh, that was a decent hit. You wait, you wait as well. Everybody wait except for you. You put up a spear wall, and you too. Okay, hopefully they will um, raise your shield. Good hit. Uh, hopefully they will exhaust themselves by running into. I mean, with the exhaust, I mean do a lot of damage to themselves. They're just jumping into the spear wall. 
And they're not that hard to hit, they don't have shields, so that helps as well. Just firing into the biggest composition of, uh, of enemies. Ah, oh, that guy has a spear, I really hate it when they have spears. Well done, the spear wall is holding. Come on, ah, now he missed, um, no more spears. Switch weapons and um, move up soon. That was a mistake, moving up with Karsten. I don't know why I did it. He was too eager. Okay, end your turn. Nothing to do for you. And you should definitely move up and try to score a hit over here. Ah, well done, good hit. You too. 70% missed. Um, I think Winrich will still hold back. Uh, spear wall st still active. Just gonna wait it out. And there's the first one getting up again. Wait. Okay, maybe we can shoot you. Or maybe we can shoot that guy. Well then, I am. Um, the, the crossbow is really good for uh, damaging that armor. So good thing um, the spear wall is still active, and the zombies are just running into them. Oh, his morale is dropping like crazy. It's not a good thing to happen. And there's the first victim of the spear wall. Okay, X. Ah, that was that was a shame. Would have been really awesome if he killed him. Okay, my fatigue is not looking so good, but uh, spear wall still holding up. Well done, nice. This is it's, it's like almost like a phalanx. They're not able to to breach it. Good hit in the back row there. And this guy is almost down, that's pretty amazing. Get out the spear wall. I'm a bit scared of this dude. Decent armor, good weapon. But Vendel is uh, scoring all the hits. Uh, I definitely have to put up the shield wall over here. And then maybe throw a strike on this one. Oh, this one. He doesn't have a weapon, but I can focus on him with three guys so I can get him down easily. Okay, I can have one more turn of spear walls. Maybe you should move up. And Winrich is still waiting for his um, for his time. And he's getting up. And there flies the head. Awesome, that's what I want to see. Just wait. And you can stab that guy. Should have uh, put the, um, uh, Ernst behind the, the these frontliners and not behind the spear wall because they, with the distance gap uh, he's of no use at all. Moving up. I tried to stun him but didn't work unfortunately. Spear wall still doing work and there are already two guys dead without a single attack made. And, another, and the guys with this, the undead with the spears, those are really annoying. Oh, I have enough fatigue for another spear wall, awesome. Good hit. And down he goes, there's the third. It's almost like a Greek phalanx that nobody can penetrate. And the fourth. This is highly effective right now. Uh, now one, one of them miss it, missed, but um, I think I will keep up the spear wall as long as I can. Okay, whom to shoot? Maybe I should... Ah, mistake, I moved too far, anyways. Okay, so now the fatigue uh, has run out for the spear wall. So I'm just gonna uh, recover and do nothing. That was a really good hit. Good double hit, almost killed him. And down you go. Now it's time for another X strike. It's really unfortunate that I only have this guy in, in range. Because he doesn't have a weapon and the guys without a weapon are, are really um, not that dangerous to be honest. Ah, and the last and the last spear wall failed. Good hit right here. I, I don't want to move up because this guy will move up right next. And now he doesn't have um, action points for another attack. And they are doing some serious damage over there. Have to move to the side so I can uh, fire down this line. Totally going to focus on this Wiederganger with the chainmail to get rid of him. 
Yeah, they are already very, very, um, very much damaged. Ah, come on, I needed that hit. Um, no good line of sight. Gonna move around the combat line. Yeah, I needed that guy to go down. Now, my guys are already fatigued and the, um, the undead, as you know, do not have fatigue, so... As that can become a really good, um, really, uh, really tough issue because in the beginning of a fight you will think uh, that you are well ahead, and as the fight draws on and um, on and on, and they uh, start getting up again, um, your guys will fatigue, and that your guys will fatigue quickly, and so um, you completely underestimate uh, the, the the danger, and out of all of a sudden you are completely out of fatigue, and uh, are getting overwhelmed by the Vida Gangers. It's a, it's a really dangerous thing. Let's try to hit the head. Unfortunately, it didn't. This guy should be pretty wounded. Ah, missed it. Down you go, move up. And I moved around the combat line, but still no line of sight. I could shoot him, but I really, really don't want to, sh to shoot my friend in the side. Well done, good hit. And one final man having an, no, no, no opportunity to attack. Or oh, three of them getting up. And one next, four, right? One next to my archer. To, well done. Get down. Okay, Hermann's turn. Definitely not enough head chopping done by Hermann. Only two. Because then they won't get up again. And it's a really massive, really massive um, difference. Don't die. Don't get, in, don't get injured. I think I can risk a shot here. Very well done. The guys with the spears tend to like uh, hit one shot one and then miss the other. Oh, that was very in that was a really good good turn, like a double kill, uh, two quick shots from the hip. If I can get rid of this guy, I'm. Um, uh, fatigue. You can see how uh, my guys fatigue and um, also if you're moving through snow that will fatigue you a lot, lot faster than on um, on grassland. Okay, he missed his last and final attack and I think I'm set. The spear wall was very uh, working very well indeed. Um, it's like four of the Vida Gangers just ran into that and uh, got completely destroyed without delivering one hit to me. Okay, that was a really good fight. We needed a fight without an injury. We really needed that. We took very little damage indeed. I think only Carsten took a little and uh, Gerald, and that's basically it. And um, who did a good job? Ludolf just like four kills. Uh, he was one of the guys in the spear wall. Okay, uh, the loot is really sad. This is some really sad loot. But 200 crowns, I take it. And of course, it's on top of the of the payment for the contract, so... Um, yeah, nice one. But we need a contract to, to, uh, to like that with uh, 300 crowns and uh, and the uh, loot from the from the location. Okay, there's the 300 crowns and the uh, Schachtheim is uh, no longer the villagers are no longer terrified. Crowns well deserved. That's what I say. Okay, 685. That's pretty decent. Um, we should look around. I don't want to hire guys for like 250. That's too expensive for me. But if I hire one more guy, we uh, fulfill our ambition. And that will give us a really big boost to our mood. It's 200. But I don't, re I don't really need that right now. Oh, I, okay, I do. Let's get it anyways. And there goes the money. Just as quickly as I got it. It's... Um, I, I lose it again. Okay, let's head over to the bigger city. I think that I will, I will find a um, somebody to recruit, and then I can fulfill my ambition. That they will, that will boost the mood of my uh, troop greatly, and that's really important. Because with the new um, with the new uh, morale effect in combat, that uh, morale checks, negative morale checks get tr triggered when you are um, enemies are closing in on you. Um, resolve so it get a lot more important. So uh, having a good m uh, mood will help with that. Okay, here we are. Oh, we've got a brawler. I really like that background. Yeah, let's get this guy. Oswald the Rock. 
I mean, that, that really sounds like somebody you could use in a mercenary company. There you go. And the club. Oh, he's got double star on melee and double star on melee defense and one on fatigue. Okay, this is almost like the perfect, the perfect thing you want to have. What an amazing guy. I'm pretty sure I will lose him in the first fight. Oh, I'm so starved from, from money right now. Um, I would love like a simple helmet or something, but this it's, it's already a hundred and I only have uh, enough crowns for two days, so let's not do that. Let's rather have a quick look at the at the contract. Okay, um, so uh, we are asked to do to um, fight some some robbers at the graveyard. It's a two skull contract, so I'm not going to bother with that to be honest. And there's the ambition fulfilled. So for the first ambition, I will um, I will read this out quickly, and. Um, so, having finally gathered the coin and equipment, you managed to assemble a full complement of 12 able fighters. When next you walk down Jarlstedt's main street, the men break into a full-throated marching song. A few of the townsfolk mutter under their breath about dirty mercenaries taking over the town, but others walk alongside and shout the words with you. Stand tall, brothers. People can see this is a real mercenary company now and not a handful of wandering vagabonds. Ah, I'm not so sure about that. Winfried de declares, We trade in strength, and now that our numbers have gone up, so will our price. It appears, it appears he has the right of it. You notice one particularly fat nobleman sizing up the company as if he was already has a task in mind. The Battle Brothers are now a force to be reckoned with. Once the men have settled in for a celebratory drink, perhaps you should take another stroll through town to see if any more lucrative contracts may be available. And we gained a lot of renown. Renown is actually scaling up the rewards for contracts, so having a higher renown will get you more money. And um, we got a, a mood boost to all the people in our um, in our company, and that's so important because, uh, as you can see here, look at this guy. He's euphoric. Uh, Balan is really high, um, really high mood, and he has a 75% chance to start a battle in confident morale, and that has a a pretty big effect on your combat um, performance. So um, yeah, if you if you you can also um, spend your money on a buying a round of drinks in the tavern, and that will boost your mood a little. So if you lose a guy, then sometimes that's a good good tactic to do. Okay, our uh, medicinal supplies are running out. Let's head. Did I get any level ups by the way? No. That's pretty unfortunate. Oh, they're really close to leveling up. Anyways, I, um, if I remember correctly, there was a uh, one skull contract down here that I want to take on. I think it was um, not in Wolfenburg, but in the... No, it was not here. It was in the next city. I think I could grab some cheap food. Two more days and two more days. Yeah, living on, living on the edge, actually. Uh, yes, I think it was in Kahlenberg, the, the contract. I hope it's still there, not you know, some other mercenaries took them or something. Oh, the militia is here. If, if the militia is out and about, usually that's a sign that there's trouble in the area. So uh, let's have a quick look. Um, so uh, there has a relic that has been stolen. Um, it's called the Shroud of the Founder and I'm asked to return it. And that's exactly what I'm here for. 70 crowns and 300. That's pretty good. Um, let's ask for some more money. And uh, he increased it a little bit. And um, I think let's let's try this one. I think that's ten more. Anyways, uh, because I don't need money up front, I have enough. I have enough. Oh, the ruins of Orkbane Keep. Hmm, that sounds pretty dodgy, to be honest. Okay, where is the, where are those guys? Uh, okay, okay, uh, sorry, uh, that's that, that's what you get for, you know, just jumping over the contract description because um, this is actually not about returning a stolen item, it's uh, it's uh, getting the item from a uh, from a distant location. I just hope I have enough money. So, um, because I'm jumping over the contract descriptions to make it a bit more, um, uh, you know, easier to watch for you guys, so um, you can pause it and then read it. But I will just jump over them because uh, sometimes it can get a little tedious, and I'm not not a really good reader. So, <laughs> there you go. Um, wow, gonna sell my la my last stuff. And still, this is just enough for one day. 
I think I can do one day without. Okay, Ludolf, he was injured in battle and uh, surprisingly his injure is uh, healed. Uh, so sometimes you will get events like these that um, that uh, there's a, like a miracle, no, not a miracle healing, but a really fast recovery. And sometimes if you do not treat um, a wound in, um, in a temple, it may also happen that uh, a wound gets infected. And then, then of course, uh, the character gets ill and uh, all kinds of really bad things happen. Anyways, let's head out over here to this location. I really don't want Oswald the Rock, he's like absolutely amazing, like 60 hit points as well. And all his stats, he's pretty decent range skill as well, pretty decent range defense. No, no, that's just from the shield. <laughs> yeah, his range defense is really bad. Um, ah, because he's cocky. And so he's got a pretty good resolve, uh, but that lowers his defense. Uh, I really don't want to lose this guy. Maybe somebody has to hand over his head. Maybe Wanda? Hmm. You go, you, you guys change armor. Because I so do not want Oswald to get killed. Okay, so now we can have another um, ambition. And um, from time to time after you fulfill an ambition, you will get the opportunity to pick a new one. And in the beginning, the, the choices are a bit limited with these. But as you progress, they will get more and more. So, we need a battle standard so that we're recognized from afar. Having one by, uh, be made is costly, so we shall gather 2,500 crowns. Um, okay, let's do that. I currently really do not see myself having 2,500 crowns, but, um, but hey, you know, miracles do happen. I really strained on the crowns. I was a bit too greedy, like, hiring those guys. And also, also I don't want to wait at night. Uh, I don't want to fight, so I... I'll have to um, to jump to this. Um, so the uh, episode is over now. I'm really sorry for just stopping it uh, right now. But um, in the next episode, we will see how we fare at Ruins of Orc Bane Keep. And uh, maybe we will survive and maybe not. Anyway, see you in the next episode and bye.